Fires will be on this morning across the area here in southeast Louisiana. Everyone waking up to a very cold morning indeed. And as you try to stay warm, local leaders are trying to play it safe, right? Sharing tips for you to get through this cold snap without tragedy. A lot of do's and don'ts to keep in mind. And you hear this just about every year, but emergency responders say they see preventable fires and incidents whenever the temps drop like this. This morning, WDSU News reporter Shay O'Connor joins us live with the very latest on what you, ne you need to know to push through this cold snap. Shay, good morning. Chad, good morning to you. We're definitely feeling the impacts of this cold weather. And we have a couple of more days of this, so you definitely want to make sure that you are staying prepared. So just some tips from the state's fire marshal's office this morning. They know a lot of people use space heaters. Officials say if you do, it's always best to keep them away from anything that could catch fire, like blankets or curtains, for instance. You also do not want to leave your home with a space heater on or even go to sleep with it being under attended it could cause a fire same with candles now the fire marshal's office does recommend burning candles for heat ovens and stoves should never be used to warm a house in addition to this being a fire hazard it's also a carbon monoxide hazard so you definitely want to stay clear of that during a cold snap now the number one tip from the fire marshal's office is to have a working smoke alarm because simply put it saves lives it doesn't matter if we're talking about cold weather or not. Working smoke alarms in the home will save lives. Working smoke alarms give people a heads up, a very early heads up that something is wrong in the home. It can sense smoke before we can see and smell it. So those smoke alarms, if they're working, can absolutely wake families up or let them know that something's wrong on the other side of the house that they may not be aware of. And local leaders say they definitely don't want these tips to be somewhat of a white noise. Now, when it comes to smoke alarms, you can visit our website, WDSU.com, for information when it comes to receiving a free fire alarm from Operation Save a Life. Of course, that's on our website, WDSU.com. Reporting live, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News.